down, ready for action. That's Alexandrine then, just practicing his, his practicing his starts out of one. Salunga is in two. In the background there, that's uh, Whistle, staying light on his toes. Benuve's come around. He was just doing a couple of runouts on the uh, around the 200 meter bend. There's our start list again. Alexandrine is one. Salunga Tonga in two. Lagarava Papua New Guinea in three. Benuve, Fiji. The defending champ from Fiji is in lane number four. Whistle looked pretty willing and is looking very strong. Goes in five. Tell Tool. Could do something special here tonight. He's in six. Philomone from Tonga as well, keeping up a fine tradition of uh, very quick men out of Tonga. He's alongside his uh, teammate as well in lane two. That's Salunga. He'll run out of seven tonight. And Mari from Papua New Guinea as well. Filling up this field of eight men. Alexandrine then. As I said, the only man to qualify under 11 seconds tonight is. Uh, defending champ oh, he's just walking through his screen there game's record is 10.33 the all comers record as we said is 10.770 that's gone long gone and the Pacific Islands best ever performance at 10.22 set this year by this man in picture earlier on this year Bonneve ran a 10.26 in Brisbane in March. Backed that up with another 10.37 also in Brisbane. And the day day later did a 10.41. So he was uh, in a rich vein of form in uh, earlier on in the year, Bob, as he started setting himself this. Well, he's got an uh, excellent coach back in Fiji. And he's, he's, to, he's stuck with him right from the very beginning. And... Uh, and he's delivered the goods. He has indeed. So the crowd being introduced to our starters, Alexandrine and one, as I said, Salunga here from Tonga in two. Longarava qualifies with an 11.15. Here's the man. Wait, uh, expectation in Fiji, of course, tonight. That this fine sprinting tradition that goes all the way back to 1991 here. This domination of these sprint events by these fine Fiji sprinters will continue here tonight. He's a local favourite. Whistle in picture now up on the big scoreboard, drowning out the uh, announcer. He can't make himself heard over this noise. Comes in with an 11.08. Second quickest qualifier tonight from beautiful uh, Karor in Palau. Here is Rodman Tell Tool. 11.22 for this qualifier from Tonga. And here he is, Madai from uh, PNG. Bob. Your thoughts quickly before they go down home to their blocks. Uh, uh, Banuve, Kupun Wissil, Wesley Logarava. Interesting. I'm going to go for uh, Rodman Teltul. Tel -Tel. yes. I just got a feeling that Teltul could do it. Depends on the wind, I think, in his start, but he's been looking pretty sharp. Hush and expectant hush and murmur comes over this huge crowd here in PNG tonight. Hope the starter can get them away safely. There's been a couple of flutters. Racing in the men's 100 metres, and Benuve again has got away to an absolute flyer. Teltul is trying to stay with him. Whistle two, working very hard for second place at the moment. Look at those, the afterburners are on. 10.51, Teltul, Whistle. No, I think Whistle might have got out of the middle. I think so. Teltul got up real late. Whistle worked extremely hard early. The afterburners were on. He lit them, but uh, there was never any doubt. 
There's our Pacific Games champ, fastest man in the Pacific without a doubt, and absolutely streeted them, just started motoring away. His follow-through speed, Bob, from the 60-meter mark, I mean, the, the start is sensational. He matches everybody and then just seems to be able to hold that top speed beyond 60 metres. Everybody else is beginning to sort of look at the start again. Brilliant start. Whistle here beginning to make a move. Teltul is well alongside him. And this is where it starts to go wrong for Whistle. Teltul coming over the top of him. Yes. Tull, tull second. Indeed. Whistle. And, and I think Lokorava third. Uh, would have to be fourth. Well, I, th I think Whistle was... Um run out of the medals wasn't he i can't see okay. they will but all will be revealed indeed the magic of computers uh, but what a brilliant run but as i was saying bob this guy he just seems to extend that acceleration beyond normal runners that's the difference between him and the others that's because he's a very good 200 meter runner brilliant. he's got that sp speed endurance well there's a whistle not sure whether it ended uh, satisfactorily for him as this big breeze blows across our commentary position again tonight. Very difficult conditions. So they've just rounded it down to a 10.55. It's not about the time. It's all about the colour of the medal. It never was here tonight but he got a fine start i'd love to see it in slow-mo from the blocks again here we go look at the start absolutely blitz them whistle working extremely hard here really powering up alongside longer over there as well and here comes tell tool from palau moving up alongside whistle and just shading him so we have one home two three yes yes so it's tell tool and then whistle yes i think there's only about uh, one or two hundreds between Whistle and Logorava. Incredible running by the man from Palau. Looks very elegant, but uh, this man, no doubting who is the champion tonight, and he uh, does the celebratory lap of the stadium. Again, this start. Whistle works hard. Marai on this side as well, out in lane eight, trying to hold on but it's gone by this stage. Here's the 60 meter mark where you can see him just accelerating away. And usually this is where the sprinters start to sort of lock up and just try and hold pace. But this yeah, guy- that's it. Whistle got third, just marginally ahead of Wesley Logorava.